Hi, my name is Amelia Franson and I'm a TPP student. This video is a little glimpse into who I am and how ICT and Canva has helped me within my studies and set me up for my future. So about me, I graduated from school in 2020 and I'm 19 in a little town called Admiral's Water, four and a half hours north where I jumped straight into a teacher aid role and I completed my qualifications as a teacher aid. Whilst I worked full time as a teacher aid at the school I graduated from. Fast forward one and a half years later, I decided it was to start my new chapter and pursue my love for teaching. I left my family home and moved down by myself to the Sunshine Coast and I found a little friend Nala. She is seven months old and a big ball of energy and she is a ragdoll kitten. I am now settled into my new home, new job and uni. I'm currently working as a teacher aide at Caloundra Christian College. I will be studying a Bachelor of Primary Education Semester 1 2023. And doing TPP has given me an insight into uni and prepared me for my degree. Within the ICT course, softwares were chosen and I chose Canva as I saw it as a great tool that would assist me whilst I studied and become a great resource for teaching. All of these slides that you see here on my presentation were created with Canva. Canva is a software where you can create posters, branding icons, labels, images, resources, pretty much anything with an image. You can edit all of these features to suit your preference in branding. All of my slides were easily made within Canva. I just took um, images like this and changed the color and moved them around, added images on top of images copied the branding and put them on each slide and copied the colors so all of the slides flowed. Um, I worked with a brand called The Silk Nest and here I created a kind of like a branding image to suit their brand and I used Canva to kind of follow the colors and the fonts within the brand. I also used Canva to create posters to explain some of their features, which were used within my TPP Task 2 assignment, um, TPP sorry, 102 assignment. And I used the features of Canva to demonstrate how to use the features in Canva in the form of a Canva poster. It just makes it look more aesthetic and easy to read and here this is just explaining how editing tools are what I used and what the process is it can get into more detail and more depth but here I only had access to just the regular Canva you can get Canva Pro which um, unlocks a lot more um, a lot more tools but I'm happy with just the regular Canva. Now I chose Canva as I saw it as a great opportunity to create resources and templates and worksheets as a tool for teaching. Teaching requires a lot of explaining and interacting with children. So having access to these kind of materials where you can change the font to suit to suit your preference of your classroom and each year really helps with the process. So here is a template of a game that Canva, um, Canva has um, provided. So if you just search up in Canva teaching resources, there will be an abundant amount of templates but here you can actually change pretty much everything. You can, if you really wanted to just wipe the whole thing, but say you didn't like the blue background color, you can go 
as you click through all of these, it gives you options to change the colors, the text, you can change the pictures, you can change all the words, you can really create it to become your own. These are some more um, examples. This is a resource, like a fact sheet, which you can also edit and change it to have it however you want. Um, it's good for posters to put up in the room, like the roles and the rules. Of course, you, like I said, you can change the colors, you can change your rules. And then this is like a fact sheet, another fact sheet. Really, I use Can um, Canva, like the idea of it, I would use it for getting an idea of what I would want and then changing it to how I would want it specifically, but it's just more setting up the basics for myself. Um, here, Canva has more specific worksheets where the children can fill them out. And again, you can change the information, you can change the questions, but it's like any other resource teaching tool that is provided to teachers. However, it's more, you can edit it a lot more. You can change it to how you want a lot more. And again, a lot of resources are with Canva Pro, but however, these ones aren't. These ones were free access and you can print them out. So yeah, I found that very helpful. Now, for future students, advice from me to you, um, for the new students thinking about taking ICT as a subject, um, I created this video so that the students can see just how a normal person like myself was able to find a software that suited my preferences whilst I studied and whilst I I'm thinking about my future in a career of teaching and I saw that Canva would bring me great opportunities to do that. So yeah, that's where it comes in, choose a software that will be beneficial. I was always thinking that, um, I was always thinking ahead and thinking how Canva would be helpful, especially towards my future. I enjoyed it. I loved creating all of the colours and putting it all together, that's something I really enjoyed. So make sure you choose one that you will enjoy because it's a long process and you want to have one that you actually love learning about. And yes, start from the beginning. Document all the work and all the processes you take as you go as it's a long process and you do a lot of things and you're most likely going to forget a lot that you do. However, if you just keep a document process of it all, it makes it so much easier for you in the end. So yeah, thank you so much.